As your software engineering career progresses, you'll eventually face a major crossroads. Should you continue down the technical path as an individual contributor, or should you move into engineering management? It's a common misconception that management is a promotion from a senior individual contributor or IC role. This is like saying that becoming a chef is a promotion from being really good at eating food. Related skills, sure. Same job, absolutely not. The reality is that these are two distinct parallel career tracks, each with its own set of skills, responsibilities, and definitions of success. So which path is right for you? You might be a great fit for the IC path if you truly love hands-on technical problem solving. This is the path for those who get deep satisfaction from architecting systems, writing code, and solving complex technical challenges. ICs prefer to influence the team's direction through their ideas, prototypes, and technical expertise, rather than through personnel decisions. If you thrive in long sessions of deep, focused work, what's often called flow time, the IC path will allow you to continue honing that craft. On the other hand, you might be ready for the engineering manager or EM path if you find yourself energized by organizing work and growing others. Your focus shifts from writing code to building a high-performing team. EMs find deep satisfaction in the success of their team members. Their primary role is to empower their engineers, remove obstacles, and shape the team's execution at a higher level, ensuring everyone is working effectively towards a common goal. Now, this decision isn't a permanent one-way door. It's helpful to think of it like a pendulum. Many successful careers swing between IC and management roles over time. Spending time as a manager can actually make you a more empathetic and strategic senior IC. And having a strong technical background is invaluable for being an effective manager. If you're unsure, trying out a tech lead role can be a great way to test the waters. But what if you love the IC path, but still want to have a major impact on the team's direction? This is where a crucial concept comes into play. Leadership as an IC. You don't need a manager title to be a leader. As you can see, while managers focus on things like people management and performance reviews, senior ICs take on significant leadership responsibilities. They lead feature development, drive technical strategy, and are often the first line of defense in incident response. This is what it means to lead without authority. You're not the team's boss, but you are a critical leader who guides the team through influence and expertise. You do this by building credibility through your excellent work. You communicate a clear technical vision and its rationale. You invite input from your teammates and actively listen to their ideas. And you mentor others, sharing your knowledge to lift the entire team. A powerful way to lead as a senior IC is by moving beyond just mentorship into sponsorship. It's an important distinction. A mentor is someone who gives advice, answers questions, and provides feedback. This is incredibly valuable. But a sponsor is someone who actively advocates for another person. They use their influence to recommend them for key projects or for a promotion. Ultimately, whether you're an IC or a manager, the goal is to be an effective engineer. This means delivering value consistently, collaborating with your team, thinking strategically, and leading with or without authority. Choosing your path is a personal journey. By understanding the responsibilities and skills required for each, you can make the choice that's right for you right now. To learn more, watch the rest of the series and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tips and tricks on being an effective engineer.